Hello, everybody. Good Wednesday afternoon to TMI. We got a good crowd today. Take some time to Zoom around, not you, Ken Bowen, because you're apparently driving. But those of you who are not driving, spend some time um, looking around the room. You can wave to your friends, see who all is on the call. Salcedos, I see you. I'm telling you hello and thank you for um, my gift. Does I see a sign down here from the Rodriguez clan. Was that a cool little sign down there? Oh, look, it says thank you teachers. It is faculty appreciation week, so make sure you email your favorite teachers and tell them how much you love them. Um, thanks again, everybody, for giving us your time on a Wednesday afternoon. This is uh, Campus Live, and we've got lots of fun guests on uh, the, the uh, chat today. The focus of today's call is going to be looking at 2020-2021 uh, next school year. We want to give you some updates on some things to look forward to for next school year. Uh, but before we look completely forward, I want to remind you of how proud TMI is of our seniors, TMI class of 2020. Yesterday, um, the faculty and staff divided up the senior class and delivered uh, yard signs to the camp to the students that are here in town and uh, put them in their yard. And so go to Facebook or Instagram or social media and make sure and um, check those out. Tell our seniors how much you love them. Um, this is a weird time for them. This is not how they anticipated um, finishing their senior year. We've got a couple of things in store over the next couple of weeks to honor our seniors, some of which they know about, some of which will be surprises. But if you have a senior in your life, either at TMI or at any school, make sure you reach out to them and send them some love because uh, we love them and we want them to know um, how special they are, how proud of us, how proud of them we all are. So seniors who were probably not on this call because um, they may or may not be awake at 3.02 p.m. Um, if you see one or know one, tell them you love them. So with that, I wanna set some context for today's call. As I said, today's call is looking ahead to the 2020-2021 school year. And we've got our two deans of students, Sherry Brown and Troy Eason, as well as Major Joe Claiborne, and then some student guests as well to give us some insights and some things to look forward to for next year. Um, this is also about uniforms as the main topic of the day. So we have some of our new families on the call. So if you're going to be new to TMI next year, we especially welcome you, um, update you on some changes. Um, everything's new to you, but for some of you who are returning, a few changes for, um, for our student body. So with that, I want to introduce to you Ms. Sherry Brown. She's our upper school dean of students, and uh, she'll introduce herself to you and tell you a little bit more about what to look forward to in the upper school. So Sherry, thank you for being on the call today. Stephanie's gonna unmute you and it'll be your time. Sherry, welcome. Uh, hi, thanks Father Scott, hello everyone. So yeah, I'm the Upper School Dean of Students and Student Leadership. This will be my 10th year at TMI. All three of my kids attended TMI. My husband graduated from TMI in 1980 and his great-grandfather was at TMI with Douglas MacArthur in the late 1800s. So you could say that TMI is in our blood. When um, my husband was at TMI, it was at the old campus in Alamo. When TMI moved out to Camp Bullis, some of the older alumni were concerned that they would lose any connection with the school. And um, Ernest, my husband Ernest reassured them and said, you know, it might be a new new buildings, it might be a new campus, but it's still the same community, still the same TMI, still the same values. And sure enough, I think that that applies to us today. Even though we all really miss being on campus, we miss seeing our um, kids in the classroom and on the playing fields, but um, it's still the same community, it's still the same TMI, even though we're spread apart. So I really am grateful to Father Scott and to Tracy Carter for organizing events like this, uh, Campus Live, so that we can see each other's faces and, and kind of stay in community with one another. So uh, let's talk about uniforms. We, about uh, a little over a year and a half ago, my colleague Troy got together with some parents and some students and really looked at the uniforms, uh, looked at a, very, a variety of vendors and uniform styles. And I'm really pleased that we have decided to partner with Land's End. 
um, lands in is a really professional organization with a great product. They've been really responsive and wonderful to work with. They have a, um, they've set up a website specifically for TMI. So you go to that website and you can see all the uh, uniform options that are available to you. If you've been at TMI, you'll notice that the uniforms look pretty familiar, but we do have um, some more options in terms of um, color. And if you um, are purchasing some of the items that don't have logos, like the pants or the shorts or the long sleeve button down Oxford shirts that the kids wear on Wednesdays, you can get those through Land's End and they're available on that website. But you also have the option of using your own favorite retailers for, for those items as well. So that gives you just a little more flexibility. Um, so I'm going to turn this over to Troy now, and he'll give you a little more information about the uniforms. Troy? Well, thank you, Sherry. Um, first off, I want to say how much I've missed all of you guys and seeing your faces every day. It's, um, it's been a tough time, and even these little brief times when we get together is, is really special to me. Um, I want to give a special shout out to all of our newest Panthers. Um, I'm super excited to meet you guys, and I can't wait uh, to have that chance in person. Um, for those of you that don't know me, like Sherry said, I'm Troy Eason. This is going to be year number 13, if I can believe that, at TMI. Um, for me, I'm the middle school dean of students. I teach math, and I also coach baseball. Uh, before I jump into the land's end, I want to address a question that I've gotten probably a hundred times since we made the announcement. And that is, what do we do with our old uniforms? Well, for the next school year, for 2021, your old, old dentist uniforms are grandfathered in and you'd be allowed to wear those. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, you guys can shoot me an email. Um, we are very, very pumped about this deal we have with land's end. From day one, you know, gosh, almost two years ago when I started reaching out to people, um, they have been phenomenal. And I, they truly have a reputation as having great customer service. And we're really blessed to have a representative working with us named Kathy Toon, who has gone above and beyond. Uh, you know, I, I'll ask her a question at 11 o'clock at night, and she'll get back to me in like 10 minutes. Uh, I want to highlight a couple of the things that, that kind of made us go with Land's End. Um, one of the biggest is they have incredible flexibility in sizing. They have a system that's called True Fit, which is a system tailored to your student's specific measurements. Um, and so that will just, that'll alleviate so many of the problems that we had in the past. Um, another thing is the no questions asked return policy. So if you order something from Land's End and you get it and something's not right, just ship it back to them. And you know, they won't have thing to say to you, they'll fix it and they'll get it back to you. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, it's being shared right now. Um, we do have that school, uh, specific school store, um, and it's so convenient. Um, I've actually tried it myself using, pretending to use my kid, um, and it went so fast. Uh, lastly, I want to announce that Land's End has promotions and sales all the time, and we're very excited that there's going to be a 40% off sale starting tomorrow, May 7th. Uh, I think you can see a flyer now. Uh, it's going to give you 40% free shipping, and there's no minimum on that. Uh, it's going to run for a week, and you will probably get emails from them all through the summer um, with different various promotions. Uh, if you guys at any time have any questions about the uniform or the changes or anything specific to you, please feel free to reach out to either me or Ms. Brown and we'll be happy to get you. And if I don't know the answer right away, I'll just email Kathy Toon and I'm sure she'll get back to me ASAP and we'll be good to go. All right. Uh, with that, I'm going to throw it back to Father Scott. Great. So just to echo a couple of things that they said um, and, clear, and, and say them again in case you missed them. You're going to have some flexibility, which is the main reason. This is all about what's best for you and your students. And so um, while the khakis from Land's End are great and can be tailored to your student's preference, the reality is you can wear any khaki pant of your choice as long as it fits that style. So it's really less, um, less strict in that sense, but um, really user friendly. And um, that sale does start tomorrow. We'll send you that um, information in an email. I would encourage you to take advantage of the lands and sales as they come. 
Um, and again, grandfathered in for your old dentist uniform stuff. It's really good. New tie and some new exciting stuff coming as well. Um, so I'm very, very happy with Land's End and uh, the quality will be better. Poor, poor previous uh, shirts only had small, medium, large, and extra large necks. And so some of our boys, especially the upper school boys, literally couldn't button their shirts because they didn't fit. And with Land's End, you can get that specific and it's better quality and it's more affordable and it actually fits. It's gonna be wonderful. So I'm really pleased with Land's In, and if you have any questions at all, Sherry and Troy can help you. Um, anything else, Sherry and Troy? You can just wave anything else on your uniforms before I go to the major. Okay, I want to introduce to you Major Joe Claiborne, our Commandant of Cadets. Those of you who are new to TMI, you know that we have an optional JROTC program for the upper school and a core of cadet program for the middle school. That's an optional program that some of our students choose to participate in. They are our keepers of tradition, and we're also in the ROTC world, the JROTC world, we're an honors unit with distinction, which puts us in the top percentage of the top schools in the country. And I'm very, very, very proud of all of our cadets under Joe's leadership. There's a different uniform for the Corps, and Joe will tell you more about that for next year. Uh, Joe, thank you for your time. Absolutely, thank you, Father Scott, and good afternoon to everyone. Uh, glad to see that we have such great turnout today. And uh, I gotta admit, I'm missing a lot of the faces that I'm seeing, uh, not only the kids, but um, also the family members who are a constant presence on TMI. You know, we wanna let you know that we miss your kids, but we also miss you guys as well on campus. So I'd like to begin with just talking about some of the core uniform um, issues and, and standards that we have um, here in our program. So first and foremost, I, what I want to point out is we do have a class B uniform, which our kids wear on Monday. You'll see on the picture on the left, the kids are in middle school. They wear a white dress shirt along with the blue pants and typically a garrison cap in this uniform. But our high schoolers who are enrolled in the junior ROTC pr program must wear the junior ROTC program uh, uniform once a week. And Mondays are the days that we wear that uniform. And that consists of a gray shirt with a gray beret and the blue pants. Now, as I go uh, along my list here, what I do want to point out is I know that we are putting out a lot of information today. What I do want you to know is if your child is interested in the core, when you come for our uniform issue, we give you a sheet that has a detailed description of all of our uniform items and how they're gonna wear those uniforms and which day. So again, you don't have to take notes today. Um, we will give you um, that information when you come. So the next picture we're gonna show you is of our class A uniform. It's typically the uniform that we wear on Wednesdays or on our formal days at school. So when the rest of the school is in blazers, our cadets are in their class A uniform, which consists of a jacket, a formal hat, and of course the blue pants. Now, our Friday uniforms are going to what we call the TMI casual day. We went to this day uh, last year primarily because I wanted a day for our girls in the Corps to be able to wear their hair down, uh, be able to you know, dress up with makeup, wear earrings, for our girls to feel like they could be girls. And so we are further expanded our Friday casual dress to be the khakis, which consists of the ones that they have now, or you can buy the lands in version as well as the core polo, which we issue to the kids. We've expanded that to also include all of the TMI gear that's also sold with Lands In. So if your kid's in the core, he may wear the core polo or any of the Lands In gear that's sold through TMI as well. So we are expanding our ability for our kids to feel like the rest of the school on that Friday in our TMI casual. And then finally, I will point out the biggest change that the kids are anticipating this year, and that is a move from the Army Combat Uniform, the ACU uniform, which we wear on Tuesday and Thursdays, to the new OCP camouflage pattern um, that you see there on the right. Um, we are making the purchases of those uniforms throughout the summer, and we do feel that this is going to be a phased issue with some of our children. We are going to start with our uh, seniors, juniors, and sophomores. And as the year goes on, uh, the kids will turn in their ACUs and transition to the OCP. We do see that this transition is might take about two years. So we might not get to all of the sixth, seventh, and eighth graders this year. But again, I'm anticipating that these uniforms are going to be in stock. We are going to have a flawless transition. And if I were to make a goal for the end of the year, I would love to see the entire Corps of Cadets out of 
the ACU uniform and in the new OCP camouflage uniform. So that is a big change for this year. And I know the kids are super excited to make that transition. Again, if you're interested in the core, um, the uniform issue for us will begin uh, the first two weeks of August in preparation for the school. We look forward to seeing everybody come through the uniform issue during that time. And again, don't worry about taking notes or being confused about uniforms. It does take a while for the kids to figure it out, but eventually they do. We are here to help. And my information will be, be provided at the end of this brief if anyone would like to contact me. Thank you again for having me, and it was so great to see everybody online today. Thank you, Major. So again, my recap of the uniform for both uh, Corps uh, of Cadets and non-Corps is that after this um, Campus Live, Stephanie will send an email blast with the lands and information and the 40% off reminder, which starts tomorrow, so take advantage of that, along with email contact for Major Claiborne, Mrs. Brown and Mr. Eason. So you'll have all those contacts. If you're not decided whether or not you're gonna be in the core, if you're new and you're still deciding core or not, remember that every student on this campus, core or not, is allowed to wear the Lands Inn on Friday. So if you're not sure, maybe buy a couple of items from Lands Inn. Um, I would encourage you to try the core of cadets, but nevertheless, if you bought stuff from Lands Inn and then you decided to be in the core, you haven't wasted any money because you can still wear those khakis and any of the uh, regular student uniform on uh, Fridays if you're in the core. So um, information from Sherry, Troy, and the major coming your way, along with the reminder of the 40% off from Land's End uh, in an email after this is over, okay? Our deans of students are not um, only responsible for um, uniforms and general conduct, they're also um, leaders amongst leaders on our campus, and they encourage student leadership. Sherry Brown, in addition to her role as Upper School Dean of Students, is in charge of student leadership. And we have two of our students uh, who are members of the student leadership team for next year from the student side. So Sherry, I'm gonna turn it over to you to talk about student leadership for next year and to introduce uh, our students. Thank you. Um, so in my role as Dean, the uh, work that I do with student leadership is my favorite part. It's really what brings me a lot of joy. <clears throat> Excuse me, and at TMI, it's really important to us that students have a voice and that they're really involved in our community. So to that end, this spring, I started meeting with some students and um, faculty members to really re-envision our student government structure. And we have, um, we have made some changes. So now we have an, a leadership team that's made up of some upperclassmen. We will have the student officers, the class officers for every class. We'll have some um, councils and committees. For example, there'll be a policy advisory committee. There's a wellness committee that Tracy Carter has already gotten up and running. There'll be a student spirit committee. And then also there are a myriad clubs and organizations where kids can uh, be involved and also have leadership positions. So for most of these, uh, the, the elections and selections for the leaders will not happen until fall this year. However, we really wanted to get that upperclassmen student leadership team together sooner so that they could start looking ahead next year. So um, right before break, we had candidates for those positions. And then of course, spring break, um, we uh, ended up not campus. So those students had to pivot really quickly to an online um, campaign. So they created online posters and um, campaign videos, got that information out to all the students, and then we had an online vote. And I was really pleased at the turnout. We had most of the students vote, and now we have seven new students, all upcoming uh, juniors and seniors that are part of that senior leadership team. We've already started meeting. They're uh, talking about things to do at the very beginning of the school year in the fall homecoming, other activities for the school year. And it's a really exciting, uh, vibrant group of kids to work with. And I'm just so excited about what's gonna happen next year. So we do have, as Father Scott said, we have two of them here today. So first let's hear from Claire Rawitz. Um, Claire Hi. is um, gonna be a junior next year. And Claire, if you could just tell me, um, a little bit about yourself or tell us a little bit about yourself and why you wanted to be on this student leadership team. 
Yes, thank you. Hi, I'm Claire Rolwitz, and I'm finishing up my sophomore year this year. I normally find myself busy on campus playing sports like softball and basketball, and I'm very involved in activities in the Corps. So this year, I wanted to be a part of the Student Leadership Board to get involved more in the school side and make a difference in our community. Awesome, thank you, Claire. Um, tell me also, since we've been away from campus unexpectedly, what are you really looking forward to next year when, we, when we're actually able to be back together? Yes, I am most excited to be back on campus with my team and my family. I cannot wait when we can be back together again. But aside from all of that, I know that student leadership has a lot coming up this fall as we start the new year and get ready to meet our new students. So I'm looking forward to all of those activities. And I'm also looking forward to being a junior in the Corps this year because I know there's more leadership roles and responsibilities. So yes. Awesome, good. Thanks, Claire. Um, so let's now talk to Patricio Pata. Pat, you're gonna be a senior. So tell me what hopes do you have for the upcoming year uh, in terms of your role as a leader? Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm Patricio Parra. Um, I ran for the student, student leadership position because I love helping others. And when I was a freshman, I had many ideas, but I never really knew how to execute them or not or how to go about them. So with these new leadership positions that were being offered, I wanted to become that link from student to administration to make sure that those ideas aren't just ideas and they actually become actions. And that's something that I really wanted to do next year. Great. Um, and then I'm going to ask you also, what, um, what are you most excited about for the year as a senior? Uh, I'm excited to finish out the senior, uh, finish out senior year, hopefully an entire year with my seniors. And I'm extremely excited for another uh, soccer season. Hopefully, three state championships for me, four in the past five years, but really excited for that. All right, awesome. Yes, we were all very excited for that also. Um, okay, thanks, Pat. Thanks, Claire. And I'm gonna give it back to you, Father Scott. Great, Patricio, I have one question for you. Are you still unmuted? Uh, can you hear yes, me? Yes, I got you. Yeah, I can. So how many Padas will be on campus next year? How many of your siblings are gonna be here? There'll be four of us on the field. <laughs> So as a leader, are you worried about your credibility in your own household? Will you have credibility with other three other TMI students that live in your household? The, I'll be, it'll be tough. I'll tell you, I, I, I know it'll be tough. It, it'll happen. It'll be, it'll be good. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Patricio. And thanks, Claire. Thanks you both for your time. Uh, this is uh, wrapping up our time for Campus Live. I want to give you a couple of plugs for the upcoming events and then have a fun closing for us so don't go away in terms of upcoming events we have had sunday evenings with father scott you're going to get a sunday evening message for me but it is campus live is going to be recorded this sunday it is mother's day and um and i'm going to hang out with my mom via social distance so i have a date with my mom on sunday evening and so therefore i'm not having a campus live event but we will release a video for um sunday evening at eight so look for that to come in your inbox but if uh, being on campus live on Sunday evenings has been part of your family's rhythm, it will not be a live event this Sunday. Next Wednesday, we'll be focusing on IND. We have a brand new building coming to campus. I get to watch it get built every day. It's fun, the Walker Innovation Center. And some of you may be wondering, what is innovation and design? What do you do in an innovation center? And so we'll be uh, sharing some insights as to what that means and what that means for our entire campus, not science, not robotics, but really all disciplines on our campus. And so join us next week for a sneak peek into the Walker Innovation Center. We'll have slides and pictures of the progress and then be able to tell you exactly what's going on in that space next year, which will be the hub of innovation and design for the entire campus. We'll have um, Justin Kucherowski, Mr. Friedrich and others joining us for that update next Wednesday at three. So that's gonna conclude our information for today. Um, we are going to honor our seniors in honor of our seniors. We have a video to share with you. I asked all of our faculty and staff to send graduation photos of themselves. They sent us a variety of ages. And so we've got about 50 faculty and staff photos. And um, this is for your viewing pleasure. Um, try and test yourself and guess who they are. You're gonna have about three seconds 
from the uh, graduation photo to the current photo. And so enjoy this montage of our TMI faculty and staff. Have a great day, everybody. And I look forward to seeing you soon. I love you all. Go Panthers.
right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the closing. Hope you guessed them all right. I'm sure there's some of those that you're like, oh my gosh, who was that? We'll repost that video for you to inspect it later. Have a great day, everybody. Go Panthers. I love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.